Leo Tolstoy, the Russian literary, once wrote, Yes, it is possible to sabotage the things that can erase us, but not without joy on our side. The complexity of the present time seems to demand an awakening of our hopes if we are going to survive. Actually, no. He never wrote that. Hello, darkness, my old friend. In fact, that was a bullshit statement from the website The New Age Bullshit Generator, and it was created by a computer. Did you think it was profound, though? Did you believe it was an insightful observation of reality written by a true genius? At first, that quote does seem legitimate, in part because Tumblr and Instagram are filled with similar existential aphorisms cleverly imposed over pictures of deserted beaches and mystic clouds. In reality, though, this Fa Tolstoy quote was just bullshit that manipulated your optimistic soul with buzzwords. Don't worry, though. You're not the only one that falls for bullshit. Last year, Canadian PhD candidate Jordan Pennycook decided to conduct a study examining how often people believed bullshit statements. With his team, Penny Cook surveyed 800 people and conducted four tests using the New Age Bullshit Generator. He found that 27% of the participants regularly believed that the statements generated by the algorithm were profound. In fact, they were just buzzwords put together randomly in a sentence. So, they were bullshit. Harry Frankfurt, an American philosopher and the writer of On Bullshit, argues that we're in fact living in the era of bullshit, in which people just talk so they can get paid, from salesmen to politicians. They talk about things they know nothing about, saying whatever their audience wants to hear, and whatever makes them appear knowledgeable. Bullshit is an alternative to truth that requires no critical thinking and for the most part is wildly entertaining. Therefore, people come to accept it as truth. Frankfurt says that bullshit is actually more insidious than lying, because while liars substitute the truth, eventually the truth can be revealed, while bullshitters manipulate the listener and have no concern for the truth. Often their goal is to say something without saying anything, to appear competent and respectful without concerning themselves with the truth. Listeners may suspect that something is bullshit, but the statements are often so vague that they are not able to identify what exactly is wrong. Ultimately, if bullshit becomes the norm of society, then respect and concern for the truth is lost. Reality thus becomes unidentifiable. In fact, the entire U.S. election exemplified the danger of bullshit and those who create it. Bullshit has permeated politics, religion, education, and yes, even the news. So Frankfurt urges everyone to guard against it and reject it. We live in the real world. Uh, we depend upon it. We need it. Uh, we need to know about it. We need to be able to find our way around in it. And if we don't have the truth, then we can't do those things. <laughs>